brothers and sisters, the gospel of today reminds us of two important things. Number one, Jesus was very direct in saying that there will be persecutions. There will be persecutions. His disciples will suffer. His disciples will be tortured, will be killed. If the master, if the master suffered, the disciples will also experience the same. But it is very important to note that the persecution is account and on account of Jesus' name. So yung pag-uusig na mararanasan ng kanyang mga alagad ay dahil sa pagsunod nila kay Jesus. Kung nahihirapan tayo sa buhay dahil gumawa tayo ng maling desisyon, kung tayo ay inuusig dahil gumawa tayo ng masama, kung tayo ay nakulong dahil tayo ay nagnakaw o pumatay o nangutang pero hindi nagbayad, iba yon, Iba yon. Ginawa mo yan, pagdusahan mo. Pero yung itinutukoy dito sa Ebanghelyo ay naghihirap ka dahil ikaw ay alagad ni Jesus. Inuusik ka dahil ikaw ay gumagawa ng gusto ni Jesus. Gumagawa ka ng tama. We experience persecution because of Jesus' name. We are true disciples. That is what we are praying for. Christians who suffer because they are Christians. And as I said at the beginning of the Mass, even now, even in our modern time, there are still Christians who are persecuted because of their faith. That is why we are praying for them in a special way today. For us to be aware that we have brothers and sisters who are tortured, jailed, killed, even because they are Christians. So that is the first assure, well, the first reminder no, of the gospel. There will be persecutions. Kaya nga siguro magandang tanungin kung ang buhay natin masyadong kalmado, no? Masyadong kalmado. Eh tanungin natin ang ating mga sarili, sinusundan ko pa ba si Jesus? I am not saying, I am not saying that we should pray for it. Lord, sana po ma-persecute ako. No, 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 no. We should not be praying for that. If they come, if they come, let us embrace them. If persecutions come, they em we embrace them. But we do not pray that we suffer. If sufferings come, let us embrace the sufferings. If that is because we follow the Lord. The second reminder of the gospel is this. In the midst of persecution, the Lord will not abandon us. Yun ang katiyakang ibinibigay niya sa atin. Sabi nga niya, don't even think of what you're going to say. No, The Spirit will give you what you're going to say and your enemies will be powerless to refute them. Nga nga sila sa inyong pagsasalita. So sa makatwid, hindi natin haharapin ang pagsubok ng nag-iisa. Kasama natin ang Diyos. Kasama natin si Jesus. Maaaring patayin ang ating katawan, pero hindi mapapatay ng ating makaaway ang ating kaluluwa. And that is the meaning of the gospel part when he says, Not a hair on your head will be destroyed. Why? Because just like Christ, just like Christ, He was killed, crucified, but He rose again. He rose again. 
and all his hair is in pak. Yes, the body may be may be tortured, the body may be killed, but the soul will endure forever. Amen. <laughs>